Okay, today I'll be doing a quick demonstration. Um, I'd like to sort of reuse the uh, LVDS connector here. So I'll be sort of removing it with the help of a preheater um, and next to no damage whatsoever uh, to the connector itself. So uh, let's crack on with this. Okay, so this is the connector I'll be removing. First thing first, uh, what I would like to do is apply a bit of flux. I'm using the Amtec LF4300. Let me just sort of show you. They got bought from a UK supply, so these are not the cheap Im imitation what you would buy off eBay. And the sole purpose of the video is just to demonstrate the uh, preheater it is a useful tool to have when you're actually trying to remove such components as uh, the LVDS connector here. So the next thing I'd do is I'd switch on the uh, preheater and uh, I'll be applying a bit of uh, leaded solder purely because of the fact that the melting point is a lot lower than the uh, lead free so it, it's it's uh, leaded solder melting point is 183 degrees celsius versus 217 okay so that's done now i've tinned the pins and 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 the uh rest of the contacts um, hot air station set at uh, 425 degrees celsius and the airflow is at max and the preheater I'm going to set it up to about I'd say about 175 so I want more heat from the bottom Although I've set the uh, top heater to about 425, I'm not going to sort of uh, stay there for long. Okay, so let's crack on with this. Done. Now, that was done in seconds. Purely due to the fact that uh, the preheater now let's look at some of let's look at some of the uh, pins are we in focus or out focus let me just sort of okay that's better okay so that this is no sort of use to me but let's sort of uh, look at the LVDS connector here and maybe I'll try and zoom in a little bit more closer so you can have a look at a very close view okay and as you can see that there is very little these are just solder bridging which I'll, I'll remove after uh, no big deal that um, but as you can see that uh, there's, there's very little sort of uh, dam well there's no damage whatsoever I should say even on the corner absolutely perfect the plastic plastic here absolutely perfect Let's turn it upside down and let's have a look at the bottom bottom part of it. Absolutely perfect. There's nothing wrong underneath. Okay, and I'm going to I'm going to try it one more time. I'm going to remove another one just for the argument's sake. So 
Let's put this back up. Okay, so again, I'm using the wrong flux. Okay, let's apply a bit of uh, leaded solder. Okay. Now turn the preheater on. Okay, and I'll turn the uh, preheater up to uh, 175 again. And now they sort of using the uh, hot air station on the top. And to be quite honest with you, uh, even just using the preheater, you can sort of remove the uh, Elvidius connector. And uh, I'm only going to be there for a few seconds. So here we come with the hot air station. You can just about see the nozzle. Done. So that, that is just a typical example of removing the uh, LVDS connectors and some pip, uh, surface mounted components, plastic components, even with a hot air station. I can't see making any difficulty sort of removing it. It's done with these, yes. It won't come off because I've literally attached it to a copper pad. Let me get rid of that. Let me, I'm going to have to redo the uh, process again. So let's turn the hot plate on I'll have to sort of uh, yep okay that's fine that'll do happy days superb <sighs> fucking solder fume okay so let's have a look at this uh, connector close up and see if there has been any damages let's try and set the light exposure to something that's uh, not going to friggin uh, da -da -da -da. Let's, I'm going to have to turn the uh, light from Never mind. Let's take it onto a silver. That's better. Okay, so as you can see, that uh, the plastic plastic edging around here is perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that, and the back side is also perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. So I can I can certainly reuse this connector. So this is it really. Uh, the, the sole purpose of the video is just to demonstrate that preheater is can play a vital role if if you're working with SMDs and things like that. Um, and, and ideally, I would recommend anybody doing what doing this sort of work is to have have. Uh, one of the, the, the these uh, preheaters on, on standby um, 
and not only just connectors and things like that, you can remove ICs and uh, various other components from, from the surface with ease. Um, and, and maybe I can just do a quick demonstration. Let me see if I can find a scrap board somewhere. Just bear with me. Do, 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 do. Hmm, okay, let's uh okay, I don't have any scrap board at the moment, so I'm gonna have to find something different. And I certainly will find something different very shortly. Right, just for argument's sake, say say we want to remove this uh I see as quickly as possible so first thing first I would do is extract a fan as always I'm not inhaling all that crappy fume that's not gonna happen that so hell no okay bit of flux again just remove these connectors which I need to use after so and how am I going to do that hopefully let's just sort of uh, put them in this packet anyway bit of flux A tiny amount of flux will do. There's no need to have a silly amount of flux being put onto the uh, chip. Contacts. And I'm going to apply a bit of a solder, leaded solder. Just tin the pads and the pins. Okay, well that'll do. Thank you. Right, we'll go back onto the uh, preheater. Turn the preheater on. So if the viewing is... Let's just make sure that it's all in focus. Okay, that's better. Uh, you can see the solder activating. And now I'm going to use the hot air station to sort of remove this, I see. And I'm only going to be, my, my objective is to sort of be there for a few seconds. So I'm going to come in with the uh, hot air station now. You can see the nozzle. Wonderful. As as easy as that. If I want to put it back, I'm not going to line this up so it doesn't bother me. Let's put this back. I'm not bothered about why not? This, this is just a demonstration purpose, so I'm not bothered about if the uh, device, if the thing is not lined up properly. We can deal with that after. But that, that's just to, that's just to sort of demonstrate the fact that uh, you know you, you can sort of use preheater, and preheater would would certainly sort of help removing components with ease. I mean, using using this little preheater, I've I've, al I've also sort of um, um, reballed and. Uh, Reflowed uh, PPS for Southbridge. Absolutely fine. There was no need for me to sort of turn on the Jovi. So, uh, what is this? There you go. Tenma Mini SMD preheater. 
it goes up to about 350 degrees Celsius so and, and the beauty of this is it's all marked you know surprisingly even some of the most expensive um, hot air stations um, basically don't have all it has is numbers but it doesn't sort of specify what de how, how much what degree Celsius you're running so this is like 100 150 200 250 300 350 so absolutely amazing the preheater don't come with this plate I've, I've, I've made this plate from aluminium soft al uh, sorry soft al aluminium plate um, and uh, basically this is just a captain tape to sort of avoid any sort of uh, damage to the uh, plate I keep I'd like I would like to keep things as, as as new as possible but anyway never mind that's a different story um, and uh, the model number SD I think SD um, SD 01742 now unfortunately this has been discontinued so if as long as you have something small fantastic because all, all you want to target is the area where you want to take the component off you do not want to expose the entire board uh, to to sort of uh, heat all the time so uh, I think that's about it really and uh, thank you for watching